What's up guys, Sahat Man back with another figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new metal die cast Batmobile and Batman 89 Batmobile. So we have the smaller version right here and this is both made by Jada Toys metal die cast. So we have the smaller one here and we have the larger scale one right here with the metal die cast Batman. So we'll do both videos in one. So here's a package on the smaller Batmobile based off the 89, which is my favorite Batmobile. It's got this piece right here that folds up in case you want to hang it somewhere if it's sold in stores. It's got the really cool kind of like metal packaging. So you have the Batmobile right here. And then right there on the back in this scale, they have the um, classic TV series Batman uh, Batmobile, which I'm going to be doing a review on. They also have it in this scale as well. But you got the, Batmo the Batmobile here. Tumblr, I don't, I'm not sure if the Tumblr's out yet. And then we have the BBS one, which I'm not sure is out yet. So you have these right here. So that's the packaging on this one. And then this is the this is the one right here that I really, really was excited for. So we have the metal die cast, die cast figure. You have the image of Batman and the Batmobile here. And then there's the Batman 89 logo, a big open window box right here reads metal die cast. And then right there it says Batman and the Batmobile. Let me turn it around. So we have Batman and the Batmobile there. And then here's the other three. There's these classic series as well available. The Tumblr and the Batman review will be coming up soon. Same with the classic. And then you have um, the Batman versus Superman Batmobile which Jada Toys already did a release on, but looks like you're gonna get one with the figure here. There's the bottom of the packaging, but you can see in the back here, the canopy, canopy actually does open and close and the guns can actually pop out. So what we're gonna do is open both of these up and we're gonna take a close look at both of these versions of the Batmobile. Now, if you guys wanna pick these up, they're available at paulmartstore.com. Click in the link in the description, guys. Let him know Sahaman sent you. He has a booth at Frankenstein's. I've mentioned him before, booth 513. He will hook you up if you guys let him know Sahaman sent you. So that's at Frankenstein's Collectibles. If not, check out his store. But let's open these up and take a closer look at the figures. Yeah, so first things first, we will take a look at the smaller scaled Batmobile right here. Now this one, the, the canopy does not open on this one. And uh, that's pretty much it. But it does have some metal die cast parts on it. It's, it's really, really nice. Towards the end of the video, we're going to do a comparison with a uh, Hot Wheels one. But I think it's unfortunate that the, the canopy didn't open. I think that would have made this a lot better. But it still looks cool. They did a great job in making the wheels kind of look like they're rubber. And you can still see the Batman logo on the on the wheels the bottom right here now the only the thing you have to worry about is when you open these up is you're going to need a screwdriver because um there's some screws that you have to remove from both versions of the batmobile so here's a front look at it and then again you can see this is where the guns pop out but they don't pop out on here the paint app is very very nice on this and you can just see all the cool detailing on the side here's the back you've got the lights and everything and the little fins right up top it's little designs right here so really, really nice. I love this. So anybody who is a fan of the 89 Batmobile, you're definitely going to want to pick this up. But this is a smaller scale right here, guys. And it looks, you know, looks like it's just out of the movie. But let's go ahead and take a look at the larger Batmobile. So when you're picking up the bigger Batmobile, you do get a die cast Batman figure. Now, the only downside of this is there is no articulation and you can't fit him in the car. So that's unfortunate, but you can still pose him next to the Batmobile. The cape is a soft rubber material, which is actually really nice. You can see the cowl looks very, very good. He's got the white eyes, kind of has the look of Michael Keaton. Very cool. The ears are a little bit of like a soft rubber material. You have the bat suit right here with the 89 Batman logo, which looks great. And then, you know, you can see all the body armor. You have the utility belt right here. You can see the gauntlets. I mean, this figure is just pretty much all black. And you have his boots right here. But a great accessory to have with this Batmobile is the smaller scale Batman figure. Just a fantastic little piece. So now we have the Batmobile. Now, this thing is cool. Again, this is die cast as well. The cool thing about this is you can see this little the slit right here. So the canopy opens. It slides forward. It is a two-seater. You can see the gear shift in here. I'm not sure if it moves. No, it doesn't. But it's got some detailing in there, man. You got the really got the seats, and then look at the front right here. You can kind of see a little bit inside the dashboard. I'm gonna try to go in and see how much I can, you know, zoom in. But you can see the speedometers and stuff. I don't think the steering wheel turns. No, it doesn't. But look at this. 
See the detailing in there? You could fit some figures in here, you know, of a certain size if you can find a Batman figure that scale. So this closes up. Another cool thing too is the guns, the weapons right here, they turn over. So you can get the little like uh, machine guns out right here. So you just turn them to the sides and you can display it just like that. I mean, how dope is this? So you have the guns right there on the Batmobile. Very, very cool. You have the tires, which also look, you know, the rubber on them looks really nice. Looks like real tires. You got the Batman logo here, all the cool designs throughout the, uh, I'm guessing I want to call it the trunk. This does open. So you can see, you can, I don't think this pops out. No, it doesn't. But this opens up right here and you can see a little bit of detailing right there. You got the lights, the fins. But it, it would have been cool if they give us like a little flame effect to put back here. Here's the bottom right there. And then just to look at the side right here, you close the canopy up. Just very nice. And you have the front piece right here. I don't think this pops out either. No, it doesn't. And you have the lights. Such a cool piece, guys. Let's do a little bit of uh, some comparisons with this. Right here, we have a comparison with the Jada Toys Batman versus Superman Batmobile. So you can see we'll turn them to the sides. And you can see the uh, BVS one is a lot larger in scale as far as it's a, it's a bit more wider. And I think, it, I think the length is pretty much the same. But there's a little comparison of both of those right there. So we'll throw Batman in the mix and you can see, you know, whatever ride he wants to take, you know, today. Here's a scale with the smaller Batmobile. So if you're not, if you don't want the larger one, you can always pick up the smaller one there. So here's the comparison that I wanted to show you guys. Right here on the left is the Hot Wheels one. This is the smaller scale one. And here is the Jada Toys Metal Diecast. I like the Jada Toys Metal Diecast. Um, the only thing I like about the Hot Wheels one is this opens up, the canopy opens and closes. But the scale to me is a lot better in the uh, Metal Diecast. And it's more movie accurate because this has a lot of really chrome that pops out the Hot Wheels one. But the Metal Diecast is more just black. It's more... A lot more Batman, and uh, you can see the uh, the little, you know, the size comparisons between them both right there. And there you have it, guys. There's my review. Today we're taking a look at the brand new Jada Toys 89 Batmobile. So we have two different versions right here. The larger one comes with the metal diecast Batman. This is a great set. This is a set any Batman fan would love to have, especially if you're a fan of the Tim Burton, you know, uh, Michael Keaton 89 Batman. Now, again, if you guys want to pick these up, click in the link in the description below for palmartstore.com or head over to Frank and Sons. Let him know Seha Man will send you and I'm pretty sure Paul will hook you up. He's a great guy. So you guys let me know in the comments below what you guys think about these figures. Are you guys going to pick them up? What do you guys want to see Jada Toys do next in these vehicles, man? I hope we get an 89 Batwing. Give us some Batman Forever ones. Give us some Batman and Robin ones. Just give us unlimited Batman vehicles. Thanks for watching, guys. Give this video a thumbs up. We'll see you guys later. Peace.